Who would have thought that Jeff Wittick and Trisha Paytas would have squashed their beef? Honestly, I did not see this coming, but it did. So recently, Jeff Wittick had Trisha Paytas on his podcast and they basically squashed their beef, talked about Natalie, talked about the vlog squad, and talked about the famous Starbucks incident. To give you guys a little recap of what went down, Jeff and Trisha had this ongoing drama with one another, and it's all because this Starbucks incident. Trisha claimed she was at Starbucks, and then Jeff went inside that same Starbucks, but saw her and basically ran out the door. Trisha went on a podcast back in the day to talk about the situation. I saw him at a Starbucks once, and he saw me, and he left without getting his coffee. He was so scared. He just, like, bolted. <laughs> Why? How does, yeah. how does that make you feel knowing that you provoked that type of reaction? I don't like that. I was, this is when I was still talking to Jason as like a friend, like after we broke up or whatever. And like, I he, I was in Starbucks. I came, I saw Jeff ordering. So I'm just like there. Um, Like if like someone comes up to me that like watches my videos and start talking to me, Jeff sees me, I guess. And didn't, and I see him in the back. Like he's taking like a phone call, right? He's like walking. I see him in the reflection of the thing. He's walking back. They call out his name. He gets a sandwich and a drink. They're like, Jeff, Jeff. I'm like looking and like, and then I see him go out the back through the reflection and I was like, not even the back, the front, it was on La Brea. And I was just like, that is so weird. I was like, why wouldn't he go get his coffee? It was so weird. And I stayed in there for like 20 minutes because I was like meeting somebody. So apparently she didn't have no issues with Jeff. So she was really confused on to why he ran out Starbucks. But also in that podcast she was on, she said she didn't really like Jeff's content. And I get it. Like it's understandable. No one has to like every type of content. She was probably not the demographic he was going for. Of Jeff and I was just Jeff like. Jeff is very entertaining. Oh, I don't see it at all. But people say that. I know they totally do. Even my manager's like, I love his. I'm like. <laughs> like to me, I, I, and I'm not, again, not a diss. Like I can tell if people are funny or not. I never was like, I'm like so confused, like his jokes. So to be quite honest, I don't know why Jeff left his coffee and sandwich at Starbucks. He should have at least got the sandwich, the coffee and ran out instead of running out before getting the stuff. <laughs> So then we have Jeff responding to Trisha on one of his podcasts he was on, and he said this. There was a situation in the Starbucks that somebody's going around on all these radio shows talking about how I saw them in Starbucks, and I didn't acknowledge them, and I turned around and walked out of the Starbucks without even making eye contact with this person because I don't have any respect for them. And I, if, I, if somebody fucks over one of my friends, I don't even make eye contact with them. I don't respect that person. I'm not going to fake the, uh, a handshake to avoid an awkward situation. I actually thrive on, on that awkwardness, and I like to make it more awkward. So maybe mm -hmm. something will come out of it that I could make a big fucking joke out of. Because I like that shit. I'm, I'm entertained by it. Not me. Just, Look dude, at Jeff. We got a small circle, man. We got a small circle. If you fucked over one of my friends... I'm not going to see you out and pretend like, oh, hey, how you doing? Just to avoid that little awkward moment. I'm going to make it more awkward because you fucked over my friend. Now, I can't just go around assaulting everybody because then I'd be in jail. And that's not the right thing to do. We just like to make things awkward. We get a nice little thing to talk about on the podcast. But I don't know how getting dissed at a Starbucks is content for some people. Dude, if only Jeff knew what type of friend David was going to be, I... Yeah, bro, you almost lost your eye because of him. In all seriousness, y'all know how Trisha was going to respond to this because she did respond angrily. She first responded on Instagram and then she made a whole YouTube video about it. Jeff, it's me, Trish, the person that you can't name. Um, guess what? I have actually zero respect for you. Um, literally, you just piggybacked off David and once David moves on or doesn't need you in the vlogs anymore, like so many other people he's done, you two will be irrelevant. So that was their whole beef, right? Their whole beef back in the day with her and Jeff and the whole Starbucks incident. Now let's talk about Jeff exposing Natalie. Yes, David's assistant. Because Jeff actually posted a video and a screenshot of text messages, basically showing Natalie's true colors. If you guys don't know at this point, yes, Jeff was injured by an excavator and it's all because of David. David wanted to do this stunt for his vlog and that that's why his eye was injured. Jeff went into surgery and it was a really bad situation. I saw the video and wow, I don't even know if we could show it here on YouTube. But anyways, Jeff actually puts out a video where they make him. And when I say they, I'm talking about David and Natalie, make him get out of bed after surgery to review the vlog. And I said, just don't jump without me. 
I don't want this accident to turn me into a pussy. So make sure you don't jump without me. The second I said, just don't jump. Yeah, look at David chilling right here, Natalie on the floor, and they're reviewing the stupid vlog or documentary, whatever it is. It just sucks, bro, that my guy Jeff didn't get to rest because these people were like, yo, we got to get the vlog out. All they cared about was a stupid ass vlog instead of caring about their friend that literally days before got injured by an excavator. Bro, I'm telling you, these YouTubers are demons, demons. But we do have Jeff saying this was taken April 23, 2021. And also he states that I'm lucky I had a good people around me that saw this BS for what it was. Yeah, listen, I'm not even trying to make jokes at this time, but yes, Jeff was blind. He did not get his blinders off to see the type of people, Natalie and the whole vlog squad, who they really were. I mean, come on, this is how they left him, bro. This is how his eye was left after that accident. Then he actually exposes a conversation Natalie and one of his good friends had, which, bro, this is bad. Natalie says, hi, I just saw Jeff's tweet. Don't want to bother him, but how did the edit turn out? The friend goes, good. We cut out the screenshots and changed some verbiage. He's in bad shape today, though. She goes, okay, cool. Did you guys add the teaser stuff of the positive note at the end? Bro, the fact that she legit skipped the last part saying, yo, he's in bad shape today, tells you everything, right? They're just there to get the vlog done. Because what kind of person says, okay, cool, when someone literally tells you, oh, he's in bad shape today? You would have to ignore that whole sentence, right? Or you never know. She probably thought it was cool. But yeah, this is uh, cold-blooded right here. So a few days later, she goes, Hi, talked to Jeff yesterday and don't want to bother him or really anyone too much, but can't help checking in. How's everything looking for the next app? Good. Gonna try to have it done and post it by tomorrow. The fact that there's no, hey, how's it going? How is Jeff doing? This is already red flags, right? They don't even care about Jeff. He literally has surgery and y'all just worried about this stupid ass vlog. I guess she does says, how's everything looking for him and <laughs> the next app? She's li she slid it in there. She slid it in there. How's everything looking for him? Yeah, you're, you're still full of shit. It's wild that the vlog squad had the following they had. I mean, they don't now because I don't even know if they still do YouTube videos. I believe David's on Snapchat or Instagram, whatever it is. And he's making content over there and he's not on YouTube anymore. I wonder why. Perhaps a, 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 a cancellation. But I just thought I'd talk about this because this is a very epic up situation like fucked. and yeah i just feel like it needs to be seen by more people the true colors of natalie and david dobrik so as always guys please leave me your opinions concerns comments down below and i'll see you guys in the next video but if you're new here please consider liking the video subscribing and turning on those bells that way you guys get notified every time i upload a new video and i'll see you guys in the next one peace